Here we're going to look at how to add a field to a table and then add that field onto a form. Quite often you might find, for example, you create a form like we've got here, form clients, and for whatever reason you find you want to add extra fields in. So, very simply, let's close this down. We go to table, I'm going to right mouse click go to design view and I want to add a couple of fields in here I want to add an address 1 and an address 2 field so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to click in there and type address 1 and then address 2 that's all very simple but you can see this is now out of order so I want to move address 1 just below where it's got last name. So the way I do that is I click over this button on the left hand side, click once, and let go, and then go back again and hold the left mouse button down and drag up. So we do the same for address 2. We click once on the button, hold the left mouse button down and drag up. So now you can see we've got two extra fields and now let's go to the form and add them there. So we close it down, save the changes. I'm going to right mouse click and go to design view on the client's form. So we need to create some extra space so we can add them in there. So what I'm going to do is drag that down click there and just drag that down too and I'm going to move these down as well uh, right these won't move so therefore I have to go to arrange and click remove sometimes you'll find if you've used a wizard it will apply some lay uh, some layout for formatting to them <coughs> so let's drag those down Let's go back to design, add existing fields. So I click on there. And we've got two fields hit here. So I'm just going to drag one across and drag the other one. Next thing we need to do is align all these up. So I'm just going to put them roughly in place, like so. Now I'm going to drag a rectangle over there because you, well first of all, if I explain, I want to align these up against there. So I'm just going to drag that across there, right mouse click on them, align to left. That looks a bit tidier. And I'm going to do the same with these, so I'm just going to drag up there, right mouse click, align to left. Next thing I want to do is make these the same width so I'm going to make sure each of these three fields are within the rectangle or touched by the rectangle right mouse click size to widest I'm going to just do the same here size to widest so that's looking a bit tidier I'm just going to drag that select these fields here. I'm just going to use the up arrow on my keyboard. And the reason I'm using the up arrow on the keyboard is sometimes if you're dragging with a mouse, sometimes you can lose the alignment, the horizontal alignment. So that was the reason I, I did that. I find, find it quite easy. And there we have it. Now you can see here that address 1 and address 2 has a slightly different colour to the label here so we're going to copy that across onto there so I'm just going to click on there I'm going to go up to here format painter just click and then click down there and you can see it's it's made that change so let's do that again click down there now we can see it looks very similar. I'm just going to drag that up. 
move that down and let's just change the form size so that is how we add some extra fields there is a, a little bit more work to do and I'll show you in a second so I'm first of all going to save that I'm going to view the form and you can see when I press the tab key it skipped these two fields so we need to edit the tab order so let's go back to design view and I'm just going to right mouse click over here and go to tab order and you can see we've got the dress 1 and dress 2 down here so I'm just going to click on there and drag that one up click on the left and hold the left mouse button again and drag up there click OK save those changes let's go back to view very simple that is how you add extra fields to a table and then onto the form making sure that the tab order is still correct